So the next thing that we want to be talking about is uh, errors. So we know that if we have a finite series, such as a Taylor polynomial, that it's not going to be perfect with our function. It's going to be very close and follow it very closely, but the further away we get, the more error we get. And how far away we can get before we start getting error is going to depend on how many terms we use in our finite series. Um, we need to discuss this before we work more with the infinite series because that has an effect on convergence uh, for the infinite series. So the way we talk about error for a finite series is we want to bound it by saying that our error uh, has to be smaller than a certain number. Uh, in other words, what is the largest this error will be? And there are kind of two ways we look at this. Uh, one is with geometric series and the other is with Taylor series. Uh, we're going to deal with the geometric series first uh, because this one's a little bit easier to think through. And that's what's called a truncation error. And I'll come back to this Taylor series part. But the geometric series is what's called a truncation error. So if we look at... Uh, a finite geometric series such as 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth plus x to the sixth. Uh, this is a finite geometric series that can approximate 1 over 1 minus x squared. And the idea of that is uh, if we were to think of this as infinite, uh, our first term is 1, our common ratio is x squared, so as long as our x is between negative 1 and 1, if I were to have an infinite geometric series of 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4th plus x to the 6th plus x to the 8th plus x to the 10th plus x to the 12th infinitely, that should give me the a over 1 minus r. And, but what we're saying is we don't want this entire infinite series. We only want, oops, we only want this part of it. So this is our estimate. Now, if it went on infinitely, it should equal exactly our function from net, as long as x is between negative 1 and 1. But we're saying stop after the x to the 6. Well, what that means is if the infinite series is exact, and I take away the estimate part, what's left is the error. And we do call this a truncation error because we've truncated our infinite series. In other words, we've shortened it. It sounds weird to say we've shortened an infinite series, but we took away our first four terms. So the truncation error is the rest of the infinite series. Well, if we think about it, what I have left is an infinite geometric series. And it's going to go on forever. That's my error. But in this, my first term is x to the eighth. My r is still x squared. Well, because we're within our... Uh, interval of convergence from negative 1 to 1, we're actually able to say that this is equal to the first term, x to the 8th, over 1 minus r. And here is our error. So this is the truncation error. of our finite geometric series that we were using to estimate 1 over 1 minus x squared. So if you're trying to bound the error for a finite geometric series, just take the, pretend it was an infinite series, cut off the part that was the estimate, and from the what's left do the first term over 1 minus r to get a formula for the truncation error.